Twirl. Yeah, twirl. Twirl. You take it. What is that? You got a snack? What's daddy doing? We are just now waking up. Well, I'm just waking up and Nick's been up for a while. He's getting this new car seat assembled. We're about to upgrade Jasmine, make her bougie, bougie. We're gonna go see my granny. Shark? It's a shark. Shark? Swimmy, 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 swimmy. Shark, 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 shark. <laughs> swimmy, 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 swimmy. <laughs> We're gonna go see my granny, which is my dad's mom. Uh, I haven't seen her on my own merit in like over a year, um, but I see her every couple of months at the family gatherings. I just haven't gone over to see her and let her play with Jasmine. So I'm gonna go over there. It's another 40 minute drive. I don't know why Nick and my grandmas like to be 40 minutes away, except my mom's grandma who's five minutes away. But we're gonna get this done. Hang out and have a good time. My mom's, oh, I'm just explaining to them the difference between my granny and my grandma. My grandma's my mom's mom who's five minutes away. My granny's my dad's mom who's 40 minutes away. And I already got my mom's birthday gift right here. Birthday slash Mother's Day gift. And I'm gonna get that to her at the baby shower. And then we got all this extra formula that I need to put away. We got this extra formula from Amazon and I ordered it on Amazon instead of getting it a cheaper way because I wanted some Amazon rewards points to get Nick's mom her birthday gift. So I'm just gonna add it up here and we're just stocking up for the babies for when they're born <sighs> this is what i do when i'm pregnant i stock up on formula during the pregnancy and stock up on diapers and then the baby shower helps fill in the rest no 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 Wait. no 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 you're so cute jasmine trash jasmine trash Fast. Can you throw that trash away? Because there's trash. She's like, I'm not throwing that away, girl. I need to put a bag in this trash can, speak of. And I need a Almost done. Uh oh. And I got to get this stuff put away out of this box because I need to break down this box and put it in a recycle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no pathway to the laundry right now. Absolutely none. I reached out to my realtor's contract. Well, I reached out to my realtor about his contract and he said he's going to pass on that information. So I'm excited about that. Get another quote. Hello? I will. Hello, my munchkin. Uh, just stocking up. We don't know how much formula we're going to need for the twins. It's been such a long time since Jasmine was a newborn and a baby baby, and uh, we don't even remember how much formula we used for her. We just know we used a lot. But we're just trying to get stocked up now. Mm -hmm. Nick is almost done there. Practicing her ASMR. Uh. Alrighty, let's head out to Granny's. Even though the house looks a bit of a mess. Jasmine, open the door. Nick, what's the hold up? It's fine, I was just messing around. Come on, Nick, come on, Nick. Baby. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. 
We mowed the grass and mowed up my lights. My lights that were in the grass. What's that? That's your new car seat. Come on. Big girl deserves a big girl car seat. Yeah, you do. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> we have officially made it to my granny's house, Pickles. Getting Jazz out the seat so she can come play. Come on, Jazz. <laughs> She is ready to see Granny. Careful, careful. Big jump. There. Yeah, we're at Granny's. Come on, on this way. This way. I don't know what that bag is for. Up in the back. Granny got these bricks built around the house. Keep her pots and pans pots and pans keep her in her gardening pots secure come here baby hand okay well i'm gonna go say hi to granny you can do what you want hi granny thank you Yum, yum. So your cruise went really well? Yeah, the cruise was a blast. Thanks for asking. Jasmine. Yay. Hmm. Playing skip bow with the fam. Oh. Nick's winning right now, but it's just because Granny and I are letting him, letting him have a couple, oh, oh, I... couple of turns. Because he's learning. Okay, I'll... So we just played a card game called Skip Bow. Don't know if y'all have ever heard of it. I gave Jasmine the last of my tea for the drive home. It's about 30 minutes and I whooped on everybody in Skip Bow. They stood no chance. Nick won the practice round of teaching him how to play. And then I just finished him off with the slippity slap, slap, slap. I had to whoop my granny and let her know who the Skip Bow queen is. She took Jasmine to the mailbox and they'll be back any minute. But Nick and I are on the way out the door, but it's here are some way. pics of me. So this is my brother, my granny, my dad, my uncle, my auntie. That's me. That's me again. We're on middle school. High school, as you can see, I have my graduate honors stuff. Nick said this is embarrassing. But no, it's just because you good. still have that dress. Oh, I still have that dress. <laughs> That's embarrassing. It's called being financially savvy. So these are me. What do y'all think in the comments? Am I cute? Am I cuter now or was I cuter than this high school I used to play basketball? Before I hurt my knee. This is probably right before I was my heaviest weight. I was probably like 185 here and then I got to 200 pounds before I started losing weight again. Cause you could see my knee is bent right here cause I had just had surgery. I'm 185 right now so. Yeah, you're way taller than me, so you wear it better. It's my sister who I don't talk to. It's my uncle and my auntie. They live in California. It's my mom and my dad. These are my parents. They are way more washed up than this now, though. It's my granny. And that's my dad, my granny, and my auntie. And this is my oldest brother. He lives in Houston, so I don't see him very often, but he's my bestie. I love him. That's me, my brother, my sister, my brother, who lives in Houston, because he's only my dad's. And then these are my siblings, full siblings, or that's me, and then that's my mom. I'm the cutest little baby ever. Family photo that they took before I was born. My dad, when he was young, he looks exactly like his dad. Um. And this is my granny and her, all her siblings. So that's my granny, and then she has 13 siblings. So um, my great-grandma was, she was doing the thing. It might be all her siblings and that's my great-grandma. Oh, well, then two of them died when this picture was taken. But this is all my family. That's my granny. It's my cousin, who is now 20. 
So this is my um, sister's photo album. As you can see here, there's photo albums labeled. Here's my brothers, here's my older brothers, my older brother's second one, my cousins. And then I don't have one because my granny's a hater. Me and my siblings, months old. And I have a similar photo like this at my house. All right, up next, Chef Zach, what do you have for us, bud? I have a just enjoying some guys grocery games but now i'm off i'm going to the obgyn not the twin specialist that's 20 minutes away just the five minutes down the street obgyn to make sure everything is going good but jasmine's staying behind nick is staying behind and i will be back in an hour i gotta sneak out before jasmine sees me she's coming Bye, baby. I love you. She saw me. My plan is spoiled. So, um, yeah, it's a nice day out. It's Thursday. My baby shower's on Saturday. I didn't go live yesterday. I ended up going to my granny's house and I got tired. But I do plan to go live today. And uh, just finding... The right time is basically all I'm planning for, but I'm heading out and I'll be at the OBGYN in a few minutes. So I just made it to, to the OB. It's um, a few minutes early from my appointment time. I'm on like a thousand dollar payment plan for my appointments consistently throughout the pregnancy and I've only made like one two hundred dollar payment so far, so I'm sure they're going to have me pay again. Brought my credit card. Um, I also have to pay when I go to the twin specialist. Um, so it's like a lot. And then I'm also going to have to pay for the hospital birth. So it's a lot, a lot. Um, and no, I'm not doing a natural. So I'm just going to get out of here. I also did some early Father's Day shopping. And my mom's birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks. So I am going to give my mom her birthday present on the day of my baby shower, which is in a couple of days. Because I... I know she's gonna be like out of town and like doing stuff for her birthday. So I just wanna kinda get it over with. And then I'm also gonna be getting more and more pregnant by the day. So I don't wanna have to pretend like I wanna hang out with people. And then for Father's Day, Father's Day is a week after I, sorry, Father's Day is a month after I give birth and I'm still gonna be postpartum, whether it's vaginal or C-section and I'm hoping for vaginal. So I'm not gonna be able to hang out with my dad probably cause I'm gonna have two brand new babies and a toddler and I'm gonna have just had a hospital visit. So I'm gonna celebrate Father's Day with him early as well. And I got both their gifts in the car with me, but I'm heading inside now. I'm on the elevator going up. Tell me, I used to go to floor two with my old OBGYN um, when I had my daughter and now I go to floor three and I forgot. So I hit floor two on accident, force a habit. And I'm just waiting for these doors to open. Well, I am peeing in a cup right now. Well, I already did. And I'm about to go get the baby's heartbeat, make sure they're okay. And um, my blood pressure is good, my pulse is good, apparently. Babies are a pound each. So I am just in this next waiting room. They uh, put the heart, they, uh, they put the Doppler on my belly and got the baby heartbeats. I got a little ultrasound pick. This is baby A, they couldn't get B. B was in a bad position. They're both facing up, heads up, which sucks. But um, I'm waiting for my nurse to come in, just to ask me how I'm doing or whatever. And then I'm done, then I'm out of here. Then I'm blowing this popsicle stand. And I'm heading home and it's only like been 20 minutes. <laughs> so I'm allowed to be outie. <sighs> I'm very much ready to go lay back down. I had a huge breakfast. I made waffles, eggs, and sausage, and hash browns for breakfast. And I should have filmed it. I don't know why I didn't film it. I was just like not thinking it was Thursday, so I needed to film anything. But it was a delicious, freaking huge breakfast. I mean, I, I like stacked the waffles, stacked the sausage, stacked the eggs, stacked another waffle, stacked another sausage, stacked another egg, stacked a hash brown, stacked another waffle, and like made this huge double decker sandwich for Nick. And then for myself, it was just two waffles and a sausage. <laughs> We different. <laughs> got my ultrasound, got my reminder for my next appointment. 
and I am getting ready to get out of here. I was talking to this guy in the elevator and he parked right next to me and we were like, bye, have a good day. Oh yes, oh yes. Y'all know how they have complimentary cotton balls and stuff at the OB and doctor's offices, complimentary gloves and masks and stuff. Well, I grabbed some and now I'm home. I know by now y'all are sick of seeing this dress, but I don't care. I am home and Nick is in the kitchen cleaning and whatnot. Hopefully the music wasn't too much because he was blasting music when I walked in. So I might have to edit that part out and not get a copyright strike. But everything's good with the babies. Heartbeats are doing strong and good numbers. Um, both babies are head up right now, transverse, which is crazy. They're still so small that they can just pretty much do donuts in my womb all day. But um, hopefully they start making their way head down come in the next month and a half or two. Um, I have my maternal fetal medicine doctor appointment at the end of the month around the 28th of February. I can't remember the exact date, but I think it's the 28th. And then I have my next OBGYN appointment on the 7th of March. And that is my anniversary month and it's my husband's birthday month and it's my husband's mom's birthday month because my husband and my, my mom-in-law, they have the same exact birthday, March 28th. So I already gave her her birthday gift early because she gave Nick his birthday gift early and my mom's birthday is coming up. So I'm going to give her her birthday gift early on my baby shower date just because I don't want to have to kind of track her down while she's trying to enjoy herself on her birthday. And then my dad and I, uh, we're pretty close, but Father's Day, we usually just hang out. But since I'm just going to be so fresh postpartum, I feel like it would be better, not if we necessarily like hang out earlier but if i just give him his gift earlier and then we kind of just say we'll hang out when we see each other or whatever now um everything's fine with the babies i didn't see anything of concern i'm taking a glucose test on the 7th which is my next OBGYN appointment the difference with the OBGYN is that the doctor uh, that's supposedly delivering my babies is at the OBGYN and then my maternal fetal medicine is just for high risk pregnancies they are pregnancy based they don't do the delivering or anything like that so i'm paying to do both visits so i'm paying double the costs of a normal pregnancy so far and um at this point i haven't even met my delivering doctor and i don't even think she's going to deliver my babies because i need to go to an in-network hospital and the hospital she delivers at is not in my network so i am going to probably just go somewhere else um and not tell her <laughs> because i've never even met her at this point so people are like oh well once you start getting closer to your delivery date she's going to start preparing for you to deliver and it's like preparing like what being at the hospital like she's never even met me before she hasn't even taken one day out of her you know schedule or whatever to meet me and you know if I don't have a connection with you as a doctor like I'm not going to be attached to you or care if you're getting ready for me to deliver my babies like I'm just going to go to a hospital that is in network because that's going to save me money you know what I'm saying why would I pay thousands of dollars more when I haven't even met this doctor? Not like she's not a doctor, but like I haven't, like she's, she's an imaginary doctor to me because I've never met her before. My mom's like, oh, you should try this doctor. They have great bedside manner. And really it's the office that has great bedside manner, not the doctor herself. So it's funny because when I had my first baby, my doctor, John Adams, he was, um, very hands-on he talked to me every single appointment and it's just funny that this doctor hasn't even bothered to try to meet me even though i literally requested to meet her 10 weeks ago she still didn't show up so anyways i don't really care it's just gonna have to work how it works i am 22 and a half weeks pregnant right now i have 90 days left in this pregnancy i'm ready to go and i'm ready for this baby shower i'm ready to just start checking things off baby shower you know next mfm appointment next obgyn appointment anniversary husband's birthday husband's dad's birthday um april fools or whatever well, april fools and then husband's dad's birthday then the babies are here so i'm ready you know what i'm saying check 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 and my thing is February is the shortest month and I'm already on the eighth day and then there's only like 20 days left in this month or 21 or so. So I'm just, I'm going live later tonight. Hopefully you guys tune into that. But that was my 
Wednesday and Thursday. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And tune into the next one because we might be getting saucy at the baby shower. Hopefully I get a lot of good footage for y'all. I know people are going to be demanding my attention. I'm having a lot of old high school friends come through. So it's going to be nice to catch up with everybody and see everybody. I have so much tea to catch up on with them. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!